bridging the gap and rebuilding intimacy in your relationship. You feel your relationship is suffering a little, and you think both of you aren't on the same wavelength anymore. You think the relationship is worth saving, but you don't know how to bridge the gap between you both to rebuild the intimacy you desire. If you feel the relationship is worth saving, and worth the effort to get it to grow, there are some things you can do in order to heal the wounds, and move forward together as a strong couple. Talk things out with each other. Always let the other person know what your feelings are, what you want out of life, and things you would like to do. You have to remember that your partner can't read your mind, and will need you to tell them what you want. If they don't know, how are they going to give you what you need in the relationship? Be open and honest. Don't waste time and effort trying to play mind games with your partner. You can't expect them to read between the lines, and know that when you say, I'm fine, it really means you're fuming inside. The longer you take to get the truth to the surface, the longer it will be until you're in a truly happy relationship. Trust one another. Trust is what makes a relationship grow into a healthy one, and allows intimacy to come into play. Without trust, a relationship will only continue on a destructive path, and prevent true intimacy from becoming a part of your partnership. Spend some, weak time together as a couple without your family, and friends tagging along with you. In order for a relationship to flourish, it needs you to spend a little time with each other, basically getting to know one another, and what your likes and dislikes are. When you feel you know your partner well enough, intimacy will come much easier when others aren't trying to get in your way. And don't think that just because you've known your partner for 15 years, then you still know what it is they like and don't like, people change over time, and so do their preferences. Go on a romantic trip together. Pick a spot that you can have some fun together while getting to know your lover a little more. A trip can help eliminate stress in a relationship, and allows you to be more yourself with your partner. You can be more relaxed with him or her, which breaks down the walls and allows intimacy to come through. Also, couples who took vacations reported a happier marriage overall than those who hadn't been on a trip together in the last six years. Be flexible with each other. You'll need a little give and take in your relationship. If you expect your partner to go to a play with you when they're not interested in the activity, then you should be willing to do something with them that you're not interested in. Give and take is an excellent way to build intimacy in your relationship. Building intimacy doesn't have to be that hard to do. As long as both partners work to bridge the gap, they can build a healthy relationship that could involve a healthy level of closeness and compatibility. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to receive more video related to relationship advice and many other everyday health and wellness. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, and share our video. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe and stay healthy.